Good evening, everybody. Christian Kraswitz here. You know, I was in the Apple store the other day having an iOS device replaced, and I kept hearing the same thing to, uh, to other people, you know, that were bringing in products, uh, people that had an iPhone, an iPad, an iPod Touch, and that was, well, hey, I'm going to have to reformat your product, uh, your phone, for instance, um, to see if I can troubleshoot what the issue is. And, you know, for people that back up their phones and their iPads and their iPod Touches, this is great, but I'm not sure if a lot of people are aware of this, but when you plug in your iPhone into um, your computer, and this works on a PC and a Mac, you know, it does not create a backup image of your product. And this is actually really easy and really simple to do. So I'm just going to walk you how walk you through how to back up your iPhone, your iPad, or your iPod Touch um, through iTunes. And so to get started, you're going to plug your phone into your computer. And once you do this, you're going to see a devices section, and it's going to pop up all the devices you have plugged in. In this case, I've got an iPhone. And all I'm going to do is, on a PC, I'm going to right click. Um, on a Mac, I'm going to do control click, or if I've got a uh, Apple um, Magic Trackpad, I can uh, right click as well with two fingers. Um, and I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to say backup. And what this is going to do is it's basically going to, I'm not going to do this now because it takes a little while, but you just click this and it basically creates an entire image of your iPhone, your iPad, your iPod Touch. So let's say, for example, you had an iPod, uh, sorry, an iPhone 3G and you had your phone uh, and you upgraded it to an iPhone 4. You know, if you create a backup image of this phone, right before you go replace the uh, for an iPhone 4, all you're gonna have to do is plug it in and say restore for backup, which is the second option here. So basically, you plug your phone in, you right click on devices, you say backup, and then let Apple do its thing, it'll create a backup image. And you can also typically name these. So um, once we've done a backup, we then can go in and say restore for backup. And when this will pop up, in this case is it'll give me an option to go in and select what kind of device I want. Um, so for example, I can pull in the image that I last synced today at 6.41 p.m. Um, say I had to, you know, had an old iPhone, I could update that. I could update iPod Touch, etc. cetera. Um, and all you do is click restore and then it takes about 15, 20 minutes depending on how much uh, you have on that phone. But basically everything, that complete image, including contacts, uh, apps, etc. They're all copied back over to your uh, to your phone. So um, there you have it. Basically, that's how to create a backup of your iPhone, your iPad, your iPod Touch. Um, again, this can be done on a PC. It can be done on a Mac. Um, it's very, very, very convenient. So, um, and again, you can do this with anybody. You know, if you have multiple people syncing to the same computer, um, a husband and a wife, etc., you can plug those in as well. Um, you know, say you're going to pass on a phone, et cetera, to somebody. So do me a favor. Let me know if you need help with this. It's really simple, but I'm glad to offer some assistance. Um, you know, I'd like to hear from you, you know, how often do you back up your devices? So um, there you have it. Enjoy. Have a great evening, everyone.